All right, so I've had some questions on what does like 906 and 907 mean and what does the engine number mean, like 642, uh, things like that. So I'm gonna kinda do a little one-stop shop on what a 906 is, what a 907 is. So right here, these are both 907s. They have skinnier headlights, which is an easy identifier. This is a pre-faced lift. 2014 they did a facelift, so this is a 2013 pre-facelift 906. And both of these are post-facelift 906s. So, I wanna say 2016, same with this one. These first four vans all have the 642 diesel engine, so the three liter V6. Here's an old version of that same engine. A um, couple changes to this one, not much different on the 13s than like, say, uh, 2008. So moving over here, this is a 907. Nice thing about the 907s, starting in 2024, is they've added a body line. So you can see, this is a 2025. And they've added in that body line right there that they don't have on the 2020s, like this one. Um, and you can see warping down the side of the body there. You can especially see it like right back here. So the, to address that, they finally added a body line, makes it a little more rigid, less likely to warp like that. Easy way to identify whether you're looking at a 2023 or four or a 25 would be a 23. Is it gonna have that body line? A 2024 will, but a 2024 won't have this multifunction camera. The multifunction camera on the 2024 is an older, is up there. And then they've also added side guard assist, which you can't really see, uh, but Mercedes has added radar sensors here and here to go along with the active distance one uh, right there, which helps with like pedestrian and cross traffic assist to help minimize uh, accidents from people crossing in front of you. So that's kind of a basic rundown. So as far as engines and transmissions go, 642, uh, that's 2025. So 2023 is when they made the change to the 654 four cylinder diesel engine, uh, which this has, you can tell by the compound turbo setup. Um, 2025, they've even made a couple changes, like they've changed this hose a little bit. They've added a sensor here to the brake booster. Um, a lot of them have a hood open sensor now uh, within the latch. Uh, so just a couple little changes that I've noticed from 24 to 25. So as far as four cylinder diesels go, the newest being the 654, the last one being the 651. Um, and then there's another four cylinder gas engine, which is a 274. And then as far as transmission goes, uh, 2023 and up is going to have the 9G Tronic 9-speed automatic transmission, which you can identify by the plastic transmission pan. Uh, much smoother shifts. Honestly, a really nice transmission. Um, and then you move over to the older 642 diesel engine, 2020 Springer or so. And you have this style transmission, which is a metal pan, um, bottom fill, no dipstick or anything like that. It's a 7229. This is a 725 on these older sprinters. You'll see you have a dipstick right here. This one's never had a transmission service. Um, but it has a 7226 transmission, which has a little bit different transpan uh, and is a top fill transmission. So uh, it's a 5G Tronic 5 speed. The older the sprinter, 5 speed, 7 speed, 9 speed. Uh, so that's kind of a quick run through of what engines there are, what bodies there are, some little changes they've made that I've noticed, and things like that. Uh, if you like the like, details like this, please give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment any suggestions you have down below.